This video tells you how to draw graphs at Edexcel IGCSE Biology exams. And we're going to use SLAP UK to do that. SLAP UK questions are questions that include the words plot a graph. They're usually worth about five marks. So in the next couple of minutes, you're going to learn how to get about 3% of your whole GCSE worth of marks. So SLAP UK, what does it stand for? The S stands for your scale. Your scale has to be linear. That means it goes up as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or um, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, something like that. Don't have different size gaps um, in your scale. The L stands for the lines. If it's a line graph, you're going to draw them dot to dot, almost always in a biology exam, um, rather than using a line of best fit like you would in the other sciences. If it's bar charts that you're drawing, then the lines must not touch. The first A is for your axis being the right way round, so you have your independent variable along the bottom on the X axis. And then the second A is that your axes should be labelled. You should take the label that you're going to use for your graph from the table that you're provided with. The P stands for your plots being in the right place, fairly obviously. And then U tells us that we need to include units in the axis labels. K stands for key. And it's really important to say here that not all of these marks will be carried by every graph. In fact, you'll notice if it's only a five marker and there are seven things here, you're almost uncertain to not have to do all of these things. However, you don't know which ones are going to be the ones that you get the marks for. So if you make sure you've done all of those things, then you can guarantee yourself the five marks. Let's just look at a quick example question. So this one here gives you a table of data and it asks you to plot a graph on the grid to show how the average mass of haemoglobin changes with altitude. Just use a ruler to join the plots with straight lines, so dot to dot, like I said. And it's a five marker. And this is the mark scheme for that particular question. And you see it's just got slap um, rather than the UK at the end. S tells us the scale's linear. Um, and it has to be half of both grids. That basically means that you want to make your graph as big as you possibly can. Uh, the L, uh, the lines are straight and they go through the plots. And then the um, A's have been, uh, as described, the correct way around and labelled. Um, and the P here for having the plots all in the right place. Um, in some other exam questions, uh, you didn't need to um, have your axes the right way around to get the mark, but you did need to include your units to get the mark. So as long as you're making sure to have all of SLAP UK, you'll be sure to get the five marks.